And that definitely does the trick, especially with our Spellforge server, just cleaning up the mess in our, our wake here. Fantastic. I knew I hired that son of a gun for a reason, and they've definitely come around to uh, to show their value to the, the family here. Because as we know, this dungeon delving company is definitely more of a family. We fully drank the Kool-Aid here at uh, DCSS Delve Co. Hmm. Well, one more floor of vaults. And then it'll likely be off to depths we go. I wish I had a bit more consistent cold resistance. I guess technically I do have the option. I could get rid of the ring of the hair and switch it out for cold resistance. And then we're looking pretty solid across the board for resistances without needing to do any fancy swapping action, but we'll see. That sounds an awfully, li uh, an awfully lot, rather, like preparing for the future, and that's something that uh, I've not made a history of doing, and I'll be darned if I start today. Good decisions are uh, for unlucky people, and I've always said this. Ooh. A moment. I wasn't gonna switch this falchion, but I like to at least take a peek, see what the uh, artifacts are working with here. And blast you, you son of a gun! No key, dokey. A uh, ring of magical energy does not really interest me all too much. And fantastic. Do and if we just take our time with these sons of guns, it's wild how much the uh, the turns are tabling here on this character because I would have expected things to be about as smooth as they possibly can go. Just based on our overall stats and kind of spell book and what have you, but still seeing some pretty wild swings in the uh, incoming damage overall. Oh my gosh, multiple frost hearts. Didn't realize it was some kind of convention. I thought we were just doing a regular show. And that should pretty much do the trick. I hate to start saying in advance. We've been made to eat those words before, but that is the trick for now. Fantastic. So we'll be leaving vaults, potentially coming back for the third rune. Definitely on the table, but up in the air. So for the time being, let's actually just, I guess, head to depths. We'll continue kind of sprinting our way through things here. Should have seen that coming, knowing that uh, we hit a bit of a rough patch there in Vaults too, but that's fine. And back to depths we go. Beautiful. And double check how the skills are looking. Spellforce Servitor coming down. In fact, 17% is pretty much good enough as far as I'm concerned. The one rub there is if we want to use the uh, the Wukad Mu sphere or orb or what have you, whatever it's called. Hmm. I guess we'll uh, deal with that when we get there for now. I'd actually like to change you, my friend, over to capital M, make it a little easier to be whipping this bad boy out any given Tuesday. <laughs> Don't know why I'd misquote that on a Sunday when it's the most appropriate time to uh, say it how it is. I would really like that cold giant to die, so I'm going to risk one more turn. I need to get away from this son of a gun. They're a problem for sure, but there we go. I knew you had it in you. 
my Spellforged friend. And even with haste, I think we're pretty evenly matched. Perfect. Before we head back down... Okay, that... I'm too confused to cast spells. That's not good. <laughs> okay, my orange brain friend. Get the heck out of my life, please and thank you. There we go. And as for the rest of you, get back into the usual routine. Some ignition for your, your troubles here. Appreciate you and everything you bring to the dungeon. Thank you kindly. Oof. Miscasting. Radiate. Holy moly. Uh, Spellforged friend, you can also come and chill with me. No? Orbs of Destruction, please and thank you. We did our best. Uh, if we just head out to an open area. And there we go. Woo-wee. Well, keeping things interesting at the very least. Sorry, my Eden pal. You don't stand too much of a chance overall. Is that an occultist or is not what I'm looking for here this evening. I wanted to see what odds are that we got banished at some point in the future, but I guess that little tidbit of info, that exciting bit of news, will have to wait for time in the future when it's probably detrimental to our overall health and survival, but wouldn't have it any other way. That's Dungeon Delvin, baby. Um... I should probably chill a little bit against these buddies. Undead enemies, of course, circumventing are uh, otherwise exceptionally useful. Vampiric brand. And okie dokie, there we have it. Hitting the skill caps that we had set for ourselves. Um, hmm. Now might be the time to train some more Evo, as we were kind of touching on some more armor training actually would probably be nice as well don't mind if I do and we can see how that uh how that pairs moving forward here shall we um some corrosion not ideal by any means but there we go let these sons of guns stand next to each other and run for our lives. I'm not slowed at least, so we can keep pace with our giant pals as they try and follow us through the ever winding corridors of our lives. And beautiful. Now that is, in fact, the ticket. Oh, hello, my friend. Trying to go invisible. Not the smartest move in the context, but. I guess, how were you to know that was the case? Not all of us have many, many lifetimes to work out the kinks of making it through the dungeon in one piece. Ooh, and those kiddos did a little bit more damage than I was expecting. You as well, my frosty friend. Well, actually that one's less so more than expected, seeing as how I was painfully aware of how, uh, terrifying ice enemies are going to be at the moment which is why i don't know any reason that would cause me to hold down the tab key and fight a ice dragon like that but here we are i surprise even myself some days i guess and ooh, we hit a shaft no thank you like a refund, please? Very least, we can bring in our orb buddy here and they do a whole lot of additional work to assist us in our endeavors. So that is wonderful. Thank you, my Spellforged friend. Redecorating the dungeon as well, not just helping us, but helping the, uh, the decorators as well. How sweet, how kind. You know what? I thought this red room might be a, a portal to hell. Just a sneaking suspicion. Pretty safe bet, turns out. Oh my gosh, stairs. 
Take me away. Holy moly, stone giants. They can get some for sure. Those are some hard hits, unfortunately. They didn't realize that we came prepared and heal ourselves back up, but I respect the effort. I respect the, the commitment to your, uh, your style, I guess, for lack of a better phrase. Oh, a vampiric latch tang, you son of a gun. This game is, or rather this run, I should say, has just been a, a plethora of vampiric weapons to choose from. Maybe one of the rare times that the seed that's thrown up on the screen there actually does mean something positive instead of the usual uh, terrifying death that is in no way partially responsible um, or caused by my own plane. Couldn't possibly be me. It is always the game that is wrong, of course, as we're all, you know, well aware of. I don't need to tell all of you kiddos that. And... not too shabby. I guess the Rakshasa can probably abjure, which is where my buddy went. Otherwise, I'm at a little bit of a loss. Oh, you are a Juggernaut skeleton. How about that? Well... Not too shabby regardless. And here I go. Again on my own. Going down the only road I've ever known. Oh my gosh. Ice as far as the eye can see. I really need to uh, make some changes. Okay. Let us... Ring of the hair? No, thank you. I need some protection from cold, please. I appreciate it. And now we run into VV again. I have a little bit more self-confidence in play. That we at least try the encounter out. See how she goes. Again, skull force served with orbs of destruction. Going off in the, the constant sprinkler pattern. Hard to beat that, all things considered. And so I would hope that that is enough to deal with our friend here. In fact, if I'm also joining the fray, maybe? Um, yeah, let's uh, keep going. For old time's sake, there we go. Beautiful. VV, one of the scary uniques in the game, taken care of no real issues. Love to see it. Do, do, do. Lost all favor with their chosen deity. That's an interesting treasure vault. What does that mean with Ignis? Give me a moment here. Let me see what this is. Treasure vault. There's got to be something. Treasure trove, I guess. Is uh, what we're looking for here. Cost. Could I get... 5% chance to last for all your PD. 5% chance, and this is the first time I've ever seen it. Holy moly. I reset as if we just converted. Never generated does not say how it will interact with Ignis. Do I wish to experiment? I mean, it says explicitly you will not be excommunicated on the wiki. So by that token, for science? Uh, oh, hold up though, before we go in. Let's not be too silly, free up a bunch of inventory slots. And Guess we'll experiment. Rise and Flame doesn't even cost any PD. Fiery Armor and uh, definitely the Foxfires had both fallen off significantly by this stage in the game, so no real complaints on my part. And just getting rid of those. Ooh, plus four intelligence. We lose our scene visible, but that is pretty dang solid. Beautiful little tower shield. Plus or kite shield with harm on it probably doesn't fit the bill at the moment. 
These are some fancy ass rings though. There's the cold resistance I've been waiting. In fact, this drains when we take it off, but I will never take this ring off. Our luck doesn't matter as a gargoyle, but fire resistance, three pips of cold resistance, and plus six intelligence. Yep, that's a keeper. Definitely throw that bad boy on. This was some of the best science we've ever endeavored in. <laughs> uh, wizardry? Probably not. I say. I mean, we already have all the cold resistance we need. It's tempting just because of the willpower. That's why I, I pause and think for a minute. Same with this. Like, Spirit Guardian sucks. But having that third pip of willpower is borderline necessary. At least by a certain point of the game, we'll want to uh, make sure we have that sorted. Oh, excuse me. This harm shield is just kind of fun, so I should probably try to bring it out with me. Don't need the one of flames. We'll leave 88 charges just chilling around in here. And that should be where we leave it. I mean, I could take this. I don't really have more trash to throw out. I should have, it turns out, thrown away much, much more of my inventory. Normally, I don't get a vault or a treasure trove this uh, well stocked, or this usefully stocked, I should say. But you know what? I think I'm happy with that. Let's get out of here and let's think about this a bit. That ring's gotta go. That amulet, not really gonna cut it. Ice ring with a bit of dex, similar. In fact, pretty much all those rings. Maybe I should have dropped one of these to take a slightly more potentially useful option. But hey, it is what it is. And that should do the trick. Everything else can be left behind for the moment here. And look where that leaves us. Holy moly, resistances much much uh better off than they were prior to that little visit do another quick check-in with Wu Jian's thing oh for whatever reason i thought you were Wu kan mu but it's Wu Jian's reproof is this an unrand art it has a weird collection of abilities attached to it but i couldn't tell you um, hmm. So if we fail, we always get the magic back. That's pretty huge. Spellport server at 17% is still pretty solid. We'll need to bring Ignition back down again. But honestly, this all looks pretty dang doable. I think part of it is due to training armor is actually bringing down the failure rates on all of our abilities. Let's blast you. And I wasn't actually paying attention to our magic, but it, I do believe it was higher than it had any right to be there. <laughs> so that is a, uh, a hint of success for our troubles. And then, of course, some of the opposite as well. There we go. Let's try that again. Perfect. Ooh, we. Shabby. Night the night and let it shine. Just own the night like the 4th of July. Hell yeah, brother. Okay, well, I'm hoping the rest of this just goes pretty dang smoothly. Potion of resistance? <laughs> huh. Still in that uh, rough of a shape, huh? Because this actually gave me more intelligence, so how are we doing swapping over to that? Pretty much where we left off across the board. Okay, I'm going to miss being able to see invisible, but probably not quite as necessary at this stage either. So let's give this uh, a good old shot, shall we? I wonder what the odds are of the, uh, the magic points effect here. So that one did take us down appropriately. 
I mean, does it really matter how much mana you're using when Spellforge Servitor is just, by definition, the most uh, mana efficient option you can possibly have at your disposal? Hard to say overall, but regardless, things are going wonderfully. I believe in you. I'm gonna let you take care of most of these sons of guns. I'll just come in for the the assist at the very end. I appreciate it, Spellforged buddy. So let us first of all dodge that orb. Yikes! Guess not everyone's perfect. Not even Spellforged beauties like our, our friend there. Um, but I just want to reread this. Always returns magic so I don't miscast. Is that true? Okay, there we go. That time bringing forth the servitor didn't cost any magic, but rather refunded it. Don't know what the percentages are actually looking like, but seems to be decently fair. Because if it came too often, then it would, of course, just be stupidly overpowered. Way too strong. So I can uh, respect that, I guess. Um, this is not how I prefer to do my fighting, 1v1 without uh, the help of a friend, but tis what it is, I guess. Buckler of Reflection, too little too late. I think I'm pretty hooked on our new orb pal here. So we'll have to see how, uh, how things continue to progress as we move forward. A ring of strength? No thank you. I did see there was an amulet there as well though. That the game did not uh, think to ask me about. Maybe let's take a look. Faith. Yeah, it's not going to cut it. We unfortunately made a bit of a deal with the devil there. We removed all of our faith. But don't worry. Um, Ignis. It was all an act. It's all part of the plan here little ring but I guess we'll leave that alone as well I'm guessing there's a lot of treasure back here seeing as how we're just getting uh, artifact after artifact of goods and one gold dragon two gold dragons why does your mom let you have two gold dragons nonetheless able to take care of them the old-fashioned way and yeah, it looks like all of the magic rings were already kind of uh, accounted for and grabbed by our friends in the vault area. But still won't complain. 